Good morning. Um, so this is a presentation that originally was going to be uh, a co-presentation with me and uh, Brett Van Horn. Uh, as most of you know, unfortunately, Brett has died. So <laughs> I know I'm not. There's something goofy here. I'm not. My screen isn't shared out. There we go. Anyway, Rip Brett. We miss him dearly. Um, I've been in the industry about 16 years professionally, 18 years kind of as a freelancer and stuff as well. Um, so we thought it would be kind of an interesting story to explore and uh, just kind of go over today. Um, Brett and I started an agency 14 years ago or something like that. And we learned a lot. Um, it, it's, it's been a help and a hindrance, honestly. Um, but sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties here. So I think I've just got like a really weird lag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'll just deal with the lag, I guess. Um, anyway, I, I started out working uh, years ago as a paper boy, nine years old. I bought out my um, neighboring paper routes, and and I would offer the like adjacent paper boys like 500 bucks, which is you know an amazing amount of money when you're a teenager or whatever. Um, and I, I eventually started running like four or five, so I was like a newspaper boy. I, know, I was going crazy there for a while. Um, I then became a, oh, I got like a five second lag when I do this. This is going to be kind of interesting. Chicken cook for a day. <laughs> and I say for a day because that sucked. That was terrible. And I knew that I wasn't going to want to do that. Um, I became a, uh, oh, it's coming, it's coming. There we go, uh, janitor, audio uh, audiophile, stereo guy. Uh, I was a roadie for a couple bands, uh, L7, Green Day. Um, it was kind of fun, I did that for a couple of years. I was on the road extensively. Um, I then kind of started my own band uh, and, and toured around. Uh, we were really big in Europe. Um, that's not true, actually, at all. Uh, I think we sold like 1,500 records, but it was a really good time. That's fine. I'll just blast through this. This isn't important stuff anyway. Um, then I settled down here in Oregon as a security guard, and uh, I worked at a paper mill. And um, I decided, like, I, I needed to do something with my life. so. Um, I think that might be better. Yeah, go back once. Yeah, not really. <laughs> Oop, did I get, huh? Huh? There we go. Yeah, because your rash is just horrible. Oh, no, what the, what the? No, oh, oh, it's not. You have to switch just. Maybe. Not quite what I wanted to do, but I'll do it. All right, I'll have to work. Anyway, um, when I was at the, at the mill uh, as a security guard, I eventually, um, they kind of took a chance on me and gave me some education and uh, brought me in as a purchasing agent where I managed a uh, you know, multi-million dollar budget on a monthly basis and kept the, the mill running. Um, the thing is, is while I was doing that, I was pretty bored. And uh, I had a big boy job and, and I was, <laughs> 
doing all the big boy things and being an adult and stuff, but uh, I, I really realized that this was, was not satisfying to me, and I was reading a lot of slash dot on the job, um, and it really got me uh, interested in Unix. So um, my friend Brett, who I'd been in multiple bands with at the time, is showing my other monitor. Oh, sure. Okay, I got it. All right, I'll fix that right now. I think. Which I can't get to. <laughs> anyway. Are we good? Am I? All right, good. All right. So uh, Unix kind of became um, my thing. I got a job at a at a place with Brett, um, who had been in multiple bands with and stuff. And uh, I did the systems administration thing for uh, a four hundred one k company that is now defunct. Um, and the thing about Unix is that. Once you kind of get it up and running and doing what it's supposed to do, it just works. So I got really bored at this job too. And I started teaching myself how to program and, and uh, that kind of thing. So Brett and I split off at that point and started our own agency called Revolve Media. And it was a, uh, we started off with four people, uh, principals, it was an LLC. Um, and actually, you know, it was pretty successful. I sunk about 40,000K in or 40, 40K into my garage and converted it into an office, and it was actually pretty nice. We had some kick-ass land parties and a lot of late nights, but uh, it was pretty good. Um, I became a Flash developer, a SQL administrator, uh, did a whole lot of cold fusion for some reason. Uh, <laughs> then I uh, did a lot of ASP as well, PHP. Um, I really got into the server-side programming, and. Um, really fell in love with the web and it really became like this passionate thing and, and the 70 hour weeks that I had to do um, were kind of made up for the fact that I was enjoying myself so much. Um, got involved in .NET when it came out, .NET 1.1. Uh, it was rough and tremulous but uh, pretty good uh, actually in comparison to Cold Fusion. And then I did more Cold Fusion and I think we all know what FFS stands for. Um, did that for quite a while, uh, and now I'm a front-end developer, but um, I don't really consider myself that. I just consider myself a developer that likes front-end quite a bit. So, um, at any rate, that took a long time, and we've had technical difficulties, so I'm probably going to have to go screaming fast again. What I learned is running an agency kind of sucks. Uh, it was great in many ways, don't get me wrong, it was really rewarding. Um, but boy, that's a lot of work. <laughs> we have it really good, guys. Um, I had to be a designer. I had to be a developer. Uh, systems administration, I used to, I'm gonna talk about that for a second. Um, I'm, I was a really big proponent of a mixed mode network, right? I wanted to support whatever tools people had, whether that was Mac, Linux, Unix, Windows, whatever. That's a nightmare. <laughs> and I uh, spent a lot of time doing system administration because I had to support all of those. Um, kind of had to be your own project manager. We didn't have dedicated PMs then. Uh, I had to be an account manager as well. Um, business development is what kept me up uh, sleepless at night. That was what's, what was always on my mind. Uh, where's the next job coming from? Who's going to be our next uh, account? Um, how is the, uh, you know, accounts that we currently have, how are those doing? Are they healthy? Had to be the bookkeeper. Uh, I was kind of like, I was kind of like a more handsome and physically powerful Kevin Mackey for the company. Uh, you know, I, I, we, we, we had, a, we had, a, we had a bookkeep, we had a, you know, a CFO or whatever that we, we contracted, but I had to do the, the daily books. Um, and then more sysadmin and QA. And here's the real kicker is that I had to do all of that every day. And, uh, how do you do that? Uh, it's 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 virtually impossible, and and you can't. Um, if if we would have had all our ducks in a row, you know, we would have been able to hire people out and 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 fill these positions. But we just kind of didn't. Um, 
and and a startup is is uh, it's it's rough. So you, you have to time everything right, and it's it's a huge risk to hire somebody on to take on responsibilities that you've been um, caring for for so many years. I mean, your your heart and your is really into this. So it's it's a big step to try to hire in somebody. So um, the way to get through the day really just was a matter of prioritization, and um, actually. Uh, Clay sent out an article a couple days ago that was uh, just struck home. I thought it was great. Go back through your email and look it over. It's from Hanselman, um, who is pretty much a genius. Uh, and he basically said, you know, there's things, in order to get things done, you have to not do some things. And you have to really make educated decisions about your priorities and stuff. And that's really how I had to get through the day. But that adds a ton of stress. So um, yeah, anyway. Uh, I learned a lot doing that, obviously. I mean, when you're, when you're fulfilling all of those roles on a daily basis, uh, you really have to, you have to learn a lot. Um, a lot of things, you know, just the big picture, uh, communication, uh, prioritization, uh, the risk of taking risks that I already kind of talked about, um, the logistics of just keeping the doors open. Um, is, is pretty huge. It's really easy to take for granted that, you know, there's always coffee here, there's always um, lights on, there's always heat. Uh, the network is, you know, pretty damn good. We, uh, we have everything we need to do our jobs. Um, it's, it's a lot more than we really, anyway. What we do is a lot more than code and design here in, this, in, this, uh, in the buildings. There's, there's a lot more things going on behind the scenes. And it allows us to really uh, focus on what we do. So now I get to solve problems. This is now I'm back to uh, the fun part of being a developer, right? Like I, I get to identify the problems that our that our clients are having, um, and help identify them and then solve them. And that's pretty awesome. Um, this is kind of cheesy or whatever, but I really uh, value being able to work with people that push me. And uh, <laughs> what was that, Brian? <laughs> All right, it's heartfelt. It is. It's heartfelt. Um, I get to work with people that push me, and uh, you know, for a while there, I, I took a step out of agency life and worked um, in-house development, and I was kind of the top dog. And uh, this was the job right before iSight, and uh, it's really hard to push yourself. Uh, you can do it for a while, but after a while it, complacency kicks in, and it's real easy to just kind of relax and get through the day. Um, it's hard to do that here, right? I, you guys are all smarter than me, and uh, you know we're all smarter than one another in, in some way. Um, and being pushed uh, is is fantastic. That's what kind of keeps me going on a day to day basis. So um, I get to focus on craftsmanship. Um, maybe sometimes a little bit too much. I'm not a real big fan of the silos. I'm more of a generalist myself. Um, I know that the silos can be great for uh, certain people, but um, I've really enjoyed my time as a front-end developer here, for example. Um, I've really been able to uh, push myself, and uh, my team has pushed me to become pretty good. And uh, craftsmanship means a lot to me, so that's uh, a good thing. Um, diversifying your skill set. Obviously, when, you're, uh, when I was running the agency, I certainly had a diversified skill set, but I never really felt like I could excel at any one of them. Um, given what we have here at iSight, uh, I can, and um, I can still get good at various things, and um, still have a level of craftsmanship, but while diversifying my skill set, um, expanding into other roles, uh, we've seen it. You know, um, Peter's a good example. I'm a good example. I used to be a CMS developer here. Uh, I don't do so much of that anymore, um, but expanding into other roles, I think, has been really great. Um, even if it's on a, you know temporary or project basis. When you get to see what another um, person goes through, it's that whole walk a mile in their shoes thing. Um, expanding in other roles just makes you better at your primary role. And uh, I've seen that definitely. Um, another thing I'm really thankful for iSight for is the opportunity to, to fail. Uh, I think we fail really well here. We fail fast, um, as fast as we can, and uh, try to learn from it and move on. Uh, when we were running our own agency, that was um, not really an option. Uh, we, we grew to about 16 people at one point um, through a, a series of mergers and so on. 
Um, mergers are brutal, by the way, uh, just legally. Um, but the opportunity to fail isn't really there when you have, um, you know, 15 other people relying on you to make the right decision to keep them employed. That, that pressure is, uh, it's real and it's people's lives that you're messing with, so it's pretty hard. Um, learning from others here, um, I've learned a ton over the years. Um, you know, from, I, could, I can look at every one of you here and say I've learned from you, so it's, that's a huge thing. So I think I've got about five minutes left uh, in closing. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really have anything to do with the present day. I just wanted to say it again. I, I don't like waterfall very much. Um, I love that we're moving more towards an agile and iterative development process here. Um, I'm really excited about it, obviously. Um, I just want to point out the importance of learning from those around you. I know I've kind of touched on it already, but uh, just these are my closing thoughts. And uh, there's so many smart people, um, not just in tech, but also in the other departments. Um, and if you can learn a little bit about, um, you know, your account manager's job, your project manager's job, um, anybody that you're working with, whether that's UX, whatever, learn a little bit about what they do, and it's going to help. Um, it's going to help you do your job. Um, when you can anticipate the needs of those around you, it's a fantastic thing. And uh, we're really fortunate to uh, have the kind of environment here at iSight that um, supports that. Thanks. Yeah, so questions, comments, discussions? So I have a question. So the chicken fried or? It was. <laughs> it was awful. It was, it was awful. No, but I'll tell you, it's a really, really good story, and uh, I'll happily tell it. It's a great story. Now, I just want, from a personal standpoint, um, what happened to the company? Uh, did you sell it? The company, did you sell it? Did yeah, so um, mergers are brutal. Uh, we merged a couple times, and uh, the, on the third merger, um, I, I, I have to be careful how I speak here because that, that company is still actually around and here in Portland, but um, I wasn't, uh, let's just say I wasn't impressed with their um, bookkeeping and the way that they managed their um, finances, and so I asked to be bought out and became an employee and then went elsewhere. Okay, any other questions? Any other chicken-related questions? Anything? Okay. It is a good story. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, maybe Thursday night? Maybe Thursday night. There's wings, there's going to be alcohol, <laughs> good stories come out. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.